using the negative rule of exponents. The negative rule of exponents states that for any non-zero real number a and natural number n, the negative rule of exponents states the following. a to the power of negative n is going to equal 1 over the base of a to the power of positive n. So that means you're taking the reciprocal to make that exponent a positive exponent. So for example number 5, we're going to use the negative exponent rule. We're going to write each of the following quotients with a single base. Do not simplify further, but we want to make sure to write the answers with positive exponents. So in part A, we have the same base. We have the base of theta to the power of 3 divided by the base of theta to the power of 10. So when we have the same base and we're dividing them, that means we need to subtract our exponents. So we're going to take the base of theta and it's going to become 3 minus 10, which is going to equal the base of theta. 3 minus 10 is negative 7. So therefore, we have a base of theta that has an exponent that's negative. And we're going to use our negative rule of exponents. So we're going to write that as a reciprocal to make sure that 7 exponent becomes positive. So it's going to equal 1 over the base of theta to the power of positive 7. In part b, we have z squared times z over z to the fourth. So the first thing we need to do is we need to combine our numerator with the same base and we're multiplying. So z squared times z is equal to z squared plus 1 because we're adding those exponents as we're multiplying the same base. So then we're going to get z to the third power, and the denominator stays the same, which is z to the fourth. Now that we have z to the third power in the numerator, z to the fourth power in the denominator, we're going to subtract the exponents since we're dividing with the same base. So this becomes z to the power of 3 minus 4, which is equal to z to the negative 1. Now again, we don't want to leave negative exponents, so we're going to write that as a reciprocal. So it's going to equal 1 over the base of z with a positive exponent of 1. The next example in the numerator we have a base of negative 5t to the third power raised to the fourth power divided by the base of negative 5t to the third power to the power of 8. So we have the same base and we're dividing them. Since we're having the same base and dividing them that means we're going to take that base and then subtract the exponents. So we have negative 5t to the third power raised to the power of 4 minus 8, which then becomes the base of negative 5t to the third power raised to the power of negative 4. Now again, we don't want to leave that exponent negative, so we're going to take the reciprocal and it's going to equal 1 over the base of negative 5t to the third power raised to the power of 4. 